Hi guys, it's Gigi, and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bathroom video. I don't know if I've ever even done one of these videos, and if I have, it's been a long time, and it definitely wasn't in this space, so I'm super excited to show you guys my new bathroom. Although it is not done, I got a lot of requests because I posted an Instagram recently inside my bathroom, and it kind of showed a little bit of like the layout and stuff, and actually that is where my little princess sleeps at night, so I can show you my bathroom and her bedroom, so we can get to Two videos out of the way in one in today's video so yeah without further ado let's go to my bathroom are you ready to show them the bathroom Bella yeah she took the squeaker out of this one go get it she loves playing catch but she always runs I'm like girl I'm right here and can we please take a second to look what happened to my phone like really really how am I even supposed to see man so walking into my bathroom, first thing you see is a ball that Bella chewed up. And don't mind me, I'm just in my pajamas right now. So this is pretty much where I wash my face and get ready every single morning. Really nothing special. I have a curling wand here that I recently picked up because I was on vacation and I didn't have one and I got this really cheap one, but I'm actually really loving the clamp. And I have never been into clamps before, but girl, it's amazing. It makes your curls um, and this soap is absolutely everything. It says it's for kitchen, but I use it for bathroom because I think that it just smells so fresh. Next, I have my Bluetooth toothbrush, which I know is kind of a lot and extra, but I really do love timing how long I brush my teeth for. And on the top of my toothbrush, I have my SteriPod, which is just a little clip like this. And I love these things because they make such a huge difference when you're traveling and stuff like that. And I love these things so much. One, because they're so cute, and two, they're so easy. Like, you just take it out of the package and you clip it on your thing. And if you can see this blue kind of circle right in the middle of it, there are active vapors in there that surround your bristle and it makes it so clean and so fresh so you can take it to the gym with you or to work with you. Or if you're planning on sleeping over at your friend's house, just clip this to your toothbrush. And I've actually mentioned this SteriPod on my channel before and people were asking me if it was toxic and if it was okay for kids. And it is 100% okay for kids. My cousins use them. You can read the package. It is non-toxic. It's completely safe. And if you guys are wondering what the package looks like, Sorry, this drawer is so messy. Don't even lie, everyone has a drawer like this in their bathroom, just products. So this is what the packaging looks like. I got this at Walmart and they have tons of fun colors. So pick that up. You know what, I'm gonna put everything in the description so you guys know all about SteriPot. And I like to replace mine every three months to keep it super fresh. Moving on to the white strips in the back. They're the 3D White Luxe Supreme Flex Fit. Moving to the right of the sink, I have a kind of a hoard of products. You guys will realize in this video, my bathroom is not very practical. I have tons of products. So let's start with hairspray. I have the Bedhead TG Masterpiece, which is great for massive shine. That's what it says, and honestly, that's what it does. The curls that I have are from this morning, and I think that they look great. They're definitely not too teased and not too perfect. They're kind of messy and voluminous, but it leaves your hair not very sticky and bouncy. Hey! I have my Alnet Satin by L'Oreal, which I love. My moisturizers on the left is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Overnight Mask. It's a gel moisturizer. And this is my tried and true philosophy hope in a jar. You can find it at Sephora. It's epic. I'm obsessed. I've literally gone through maybe 10 jars of this and I love the way it feels on my skin. This is my Vaseline Intense Care Moisturizer. Obviously, I have to have my Batiste. I have two here. One is almost empty and one's full. So, you know, if I ever need dry shampoo, which tomorrow definitely since I curled my hair, I'm not going to ruin it all tomorrow. Duh. I have my favorite makeup remover, which is the MAC Eye Makeup Pro Remover. My hair oil treatment by Agave. And my Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil by Oribe. And this is actually a new product to me. The MAC Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion Serum Hydratant from MAC. And I haven't used it yet, so let's see how that is. I have some perfumes here, the YSL, my Flower Bomb, my Tom Ford. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. My Josie Moran Argan Oil. I've talked about this before. And this is my Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Alcohol-Free Toner, which I use sometimes when I feel like my makeup is being stubborn. I have this random Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers because sometimes when I see my makeup in a different light, I need a little bit more bronzer. Needless to say, this one has never been used. So dark. But they have a bigger version of this, and I just thought this was super cute for my bathroom. Keep a little brush there. My two favorite Mason Pearson brushes. This is my black one, which I believe has nylon and bore. 
and this is my extreme detangling brush which I love for when I straighten my hair just to make sure every single strand is seen and cared to. This you guys have seen before. It's basically just a cleanser but I really do feel like it gets every single thing off which I love. I use Carmex for my lip balm when I need a nice deep treatment. So let's talk about this light really quickly. Sorry I just hit it like all the things are moving now. So I saw this lamp and it was actually a gift and I had nowhere else to put it so I thought maybe in my bathroom could be kind of cute. I think it separates the two sinks really cutely and it adds a lot of glamour to the room. It's kind of random. It's the side table lamp but it's a bathroom lamp for now. Okay. So moving down the line I have my Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. I have a few body lotions from Victoria's Secret. My favorite one is in the middle there. The Pure Seduction Obsessed. I have some Tampax Radiance, obviously, and my boyfriend's Axe Gel was left here. I love the smell of that stuff. Whenever he wears it, I'm like, okay, it's over. And then on this side for hand soap, I have the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I love the thought of this hand soap, but it kind of makes me nauseous, so it's not on my side of the sink. <laughs> and on this side of the sink is where I usually straighten my hair. I know that's kind of weird, but this is just where my straightener always is. I have no toilet paper there, obviously, because I don't poo. So ask me why I have a Maxim magazine on the back of my toilet. You would think that I was like a college boy or something, but I just really like the girls in it. I think that they're so hot. And I have just a few pooperies here, you know, just a few, because I really don't want anyone blowing up my bathroom while they're here. It's kind of gross. I have this super cute piece of art that's on a canvas that I got from Z Gallery. It's just basically a bunch of books stacked and it's super girly and super pink and I absolutely love it. This is basically my random storage for like towels and stuff. Over here I have pink towels, blue towels, and then here I have some of my bikinis that I've worn recently. When I have them dry up on the shower, I kind of just throw them there after and then I have a whole other drawer in my room. I have Bella's dog carrier here, which you guys might have seen in another video. Some people might say that it's a little bit ridiculous of a purchase, but she loves it and she seriously is so quiet every single time I've traveled with her, so let the dog be the judge, okay people? I have some sunscreen because I'm white and I burn and I need protection. I mean, everyone probably needs protection, but do you really need 30? And this is Bella's corner. That's basically a bed that she sleeps on and she likes to dream and think about princesses, so I bought this for her. She obviously knows that mommy is this one, so I put that one right above her head. And I wanna know which Disney princess you would be if you had to pick just one. I wanna be Ariel, but like, how is that not me, right? So next is my shower, and if you guys don't know my maid story, I'll just give you a little recap. Basically, I had a maid over one time to clean, and she shattered one of these humongous shower doors. So now I only have one. Like, what is going on? I'm gonna get replaced this week, but it's just so stupid. And I may have a few extra products in the shower than I should, but this is just my life. This is my favorite Olay body wash, my Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner, my Pantene Expert Fade Defy for color, the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, it's a deep conditioner, the Gillette Venus Olay Violet Swirl, the Trish here on YouTube body exfoliator, I love that stuff, the Numi Shampoo and Conditioner, the Wild Vanilla Madagascar Scrub, this random shampoo that I'm almost done. What is going on with this bar? Should I be worried? Those green bars there are the, I think they're Zest or something. I don't even know what they're called. Pine Spring, Spring Valley, I don't even know. They smell like a beautiful man and obviously I do not use them. This is another Olay body wash. That right there is the Lanza. It's basically a purple shampoo for to tone your hair. This is the Pantene Expert Dry Defy and then that is a green tea cleanser from Laser Away, my laser clinic. And and last but not least, I have this fun poster that I put up. I just thought that it was so fun. It's a hot pink dog with a girl carrying a handbag, and pretty much this is me whenever I walk my dog. It's just chaos. She doesn't know how to like walk in a straight line. She just goes crazy, and I end up getting tangled, but I mean, hopefully I look that fabulous getting tangled. <laughs> so that was all for my What's in My Bathroom video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.